know where we are folks, we are in one of Asia's finest track and field training places, but that is not why we are here, we are here to discuss an analysis tool uh, that will help you figure out a root cause quite easily. So, I want to illustrate that through a story. Uh, one of my students was very regular in coming late to classes. So, I used my usual methods, sarcasm, making him a butt of all jokes, threatening him, not that I won't give him attendance, all that. None of them worked. So, I said, come on, this, I am a systematic guy, I need to figure this out, what, what, what is really happening here? That is when I thought I will use a tool called multi Y analysis or five Y's analysis. The tool works quite simply, ask like a five year old, ask Y's multiple times. That is the essence of the tool. This was popularized by uh, Toyota uh, in the 70s almost and, and it is quite effective because it is so simple to, to use. So, I will demonstrate this uh, for this particular story. So, why was this guy, student, uh, late to all my classes? Turns out, he was uh, sleeping late. That was the main reason he was uh, late to class. So, that begs the question, why was he sleeping late? Well, he had tons and tons of assignments to finish and that is why he slept late and now again that begs the question why, why did he have tons and tons of assignments to finish? Well, he was a procrastinator, he really did not have the time or discipline to do all the assignments uh, on time, so he procrastinated and everything piled to the deadline and that is why he came late to class because he wo woke up late. Now, why was he a procrastinator? Well, he was habituated into such uh, procrastination uh, because of his course load and uh, that is what his habits were. So, we started way back there with why was he late to class, a simple thing and we come down to his personal habits. So, that is a simple illustration of how these five whys really work. And you can try that as well to get to the bottom of the mystery. Thank you.